So this is the feature home of McNamee Homestead Hair Sheep and Livestock Training Livestock Guardian Training. So today we finished putting in some posts. These posts here are the two in the middle. We're going to be using this gate to start off with just because the money is tight. Haven't got the fence up yet, but it's uh, pretty stout, ready to go. We still have to do that far corner back there where you can see those posts right there. We still have to do those ones. But then we'll come down that fence line over there, or the tree line, past that guy's property. The other side of that tree, to that post. That corner is still has... Uh, good enough fencing that we're going to leave that but we're going to come from that pine tree which the fence is nailed to and then we'll come across here the other side of that pine tree and then we'll hook to this corner come up past where Bruce is laying that's our male guardian to this to this back to this post here so getting closer, I just trimmed it up today. Uh, get the good grass start growing, hopefully. Uh, this area here stays pretty green during the whole summer. We're gonna do the first paddock here. Then we're gonna leave a uh, about a 10 foot row right in here. So we can drive whatever we have to do uh, in there. And then from that post, way over there, oh, you can barely see it. Then we'll hook up down to these ones at a future date. And then we'll go out this way. And then to that post and then down the fence line and then back around uh, way out there. And that'll be the second and third paddock for the sheep. Uh, we made it so that uh, here now like I said we're we're not sure if we're gonna keep this gate but you can actually look you can open this gate here this way and it actually hits that post here and then we'll have a gate here as well when we build this other paddock and we'll have it open the other way so that it hits over here to this post that way when we transfer the sheep from this paddock to this paddock and up then all we have to do is open both gates and they should uh, come right through that way it's a little less less work the uh, fountain or the water uh, hydrant is going to be on the outside of the fence so we shouldn't have a problem here. I took out a tree. There's a small tree uh, right there because it was in kind of in the way as far as the fence line. Uh, and plus it had a big hole. had a hole right there. So every time I mowed, I'd always divot down into it. So we're going to fill that in, keep filling it in. Uh, try to get it leveled out so that we can get some uh, good grass growing in there. I think this tree over here, that tree right there, we're probably I'm probably going to take out because it's not budding out. I think it's a uh, wild cherry tree. I've also got a wild cherry tree there. And then I've also got one on the other side of the, of the house. Uh, they do they do uh, put off cherries, wild cherries, like every third year or so. But that that tree there, I think, uh, I don't think is going to make it. So I'll probably that's going to be probably some near firewood here after a while. Uh, I'd rather take it down now than to take it down after I put up the fence. But uh, well, right now we've got our uh, sweet peas. Going in there, 
Uh, we got peas growing. We got some green beans growing. This is our our main garden here. Beans are start coming up. We got we're kind of holding off on planting too much because uh, we've got a cold front or yeah a cold front coming in tonight, and uh, we don't want to plant. Uh, there's some beans coming up right there and I think that's a straggler it's not supposed to be there but uh, got some going right there yeah anyway uh, beans are coming up hopefully they won't freeze out tonight if not if they do no big deal it don't take much to go ahead and replant that's all we've got right now this is the main We'll have our tomatoes, our peppers, and our beans over here, and that's about it. Now, that plot over there, last year did really well with zucchini and yellow neck, uh, yellow neck squash, straight neck squash, excuse me. And that's what we'll have over there. And then, uh, it's going to be a while, probably before we can plant or not plant but we can put a fence around this other paddock so probably what I'll do is I've got a, a, another plot food plot there garden plot there and then there's another one I started over there uh, more than likely I'm thinking about doing uh, potatoes two rows of potatoes and then running a you know two rows on the out outside of uh, I'm going to do two rows, one on one side and one on the other. Uh, and then right down the middle, I'll go ahead and, and put, uh, we're thinking about butternut, uh, butternut squash and acorn squash. But uh, anyway, there's uh, the beginnings. There's Tink and Margo. Some new puppies that we've got. They're about nine weeks old. And uh, they're for sale. Getting $300 a piece for them. Uh, sold one. That's from that mama there. That's Willa. But they're over there playing in the chicken. They stay in the chicken house. And then uh, Bruce, like I said. Bruce is the daddy of the puppies. So anyway, that's uh, that's what we got going on now. So we'll see if we can uh, get this thing put up. Uh, might get some help. Uh, had to work work Kathy today. She worked pretty hard. Helped me out. She helped me get those posts and all that finished up. We got the wire strung or the uh, tensioners. Uh, just got one more side over there, that corner, and then that corner is okay. I could just come off that. So, all right, that's it for now. We'll talk to you later. Bye for now.